Hi everyone, welcome to our video. This is group 3B and we're going to be talking about honeybees. We're talking about beekeeping because keeping bees is a hobby that has gained a lot of popularity over the last couple of years. On top of that, beekeeping is essential to our agricultural products, to pollination services, but also to uh, ecosystem health in a general way. But in all fairness, keeping bees does come with this, its challenges. One of the main issues surrounding honeybee keeping is food availability, which is especially a concerning factor in urban environments where hives can easily become too concentrated in certain areas. Here, problems could arise because bees might compete for resources with other pollinators, which ultimately threatens bio biodiversity. Furthermore, the interviews with beekeepers reveal that municipalities often prefer to place plants which are easy to maintain, but are poor food resources for bees in public spaces. The research also found that the maintenance of public spaces, for example lawn mowing or weeding, also contributes to the decrease of valuable food. And finally, a drastic problem is the fact that due to climate change, plants might flower earlier in the year, causing a mismatch between available nectar and honeybee activity in the spring. Another problem bees and their beekeepers face are invasive species, one of which is the varroa mite. The varroa mite bites bees, spreads disease and eventually kills them. The mite procreates by laying eggs in the brooding cells of the bees. Here the varroa larvae will feed on the developing bee, killing it instantly. A newer threat to bees is the Asian giant hornet. The Asian giant hornet finds a beehive and attracts fellow hornets using pheromones and can then destroy an entire colony in just hours. Some forms of agriculture also pose problems for bees. Monocultures lower the food availability for bees by eliminating flora, which in turn causes a decrease in not only bee populations, but other insects and pollinators as well. Pesticides and other chemicals do not only kill unwanted pests, but can also be harmful for bees. Because the chemicals do not break down, they end up in either the wax or the honey. Additionally, they kill weeds, which are an important food source for bees. Additionally, the Dutch media is an important source of information for the general public. But the majority of newspapers does not acknowledge the complexity and the uncertainty of the problems surrounding bees and even provides false information. This leads to unclarity about what the problem even is and about what can be done to solve it. Another problem are the shortcomings of Save the Bee campaigns. These campaigns are essential to achieve action and public awareness, but unfortunately the existing campaigns fail to do so, since they often lack publicity and an effective strategy. This leads to a lack of action and knowledge about the problem, which in turn leads to less effective solutions in our society. We found numerous solutions to problems surrounding food availability. Firstly, municipalities can easily increase the amount of valuable food in public spaces by choosing to plant trees that are beneficial to insects instead of focusing on trees that are economically efficient but are poor food resources. We also found out that usually roadsides are mowed frequently, not allowing white plants to flower. Hence, a great possible solution would be to only mow these plants once they finished flowering. This allows the plants to reproduce, improving biodiversity in the city while simultaneously serving as a food source for pollinators. In addition to that, campaigns could focus on mentioning flowers with high nectar values to, to residents, so they could pick flowers for their gardens that are especially beneficial to pollinators. We recommend that local governments promote areas with high food density that fall onto public spaces to beekeepers. We also recommend that municipalities work closely with beekeepers associations to create an organization that monitors and limits the number of hives in areas where food is scarce. For this organization to be successful, the mandatory registration of beekeepers is essential. The organization could work alongside beekeeping associations to inform beekeepers on monocultures, pesticides and other threats in local land use in the proximity of their hives and advise on the best alternative locations. In order for campaigns to be effective, they need to be better at encouraging action and spreading information. This is important as campaigns could be useful in closing the knowledge gap in the general public that was caused by inadequate information provided by the media. Additionally, visible campaigns that call to action with concrete suggestions allow for more measures to be taken to save the bees. In order for this to happen, campaigns need to become part of our daily lives 
but for example, educating people about pollinators in schools or visibly promoting accessible measures. Actions such as counting bees, using less pesticides in your garden, or planting wildflowers can be easy to take and they could make a big difference if the participation rate is high. Encouraging the general public to take accessible action needs to stem from the NGOs and governments. There is a need for cooperation between campaigns so that a web of information and suggested actions can spread effectively among a variety of people. Campaigns also need to play a defining role in bridging the communication gap between beekeepers and the general public by, for example, including beekeepers more in campaign efforts. To summarize, we found that the main issues surrounding honey beekeeping in the Netherlands are invasive species, agricultural practices, uh, a decrease in food because of climate change or because of hives becoming too concentrated in urban environments, and the shortcomings of campaigns that aim to educate the public. However, we found that municipalities and local governments can do a lot in order to ensure better access to food, and there is also a lot of improvement for campaigns to reach a wider audience and educate the public on the roles honeybees play in the ecosystem, and to advise the public on what they can do to help pollinators all over the Netherlands.